Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy coming at you with the APOC 2 video. I know it's pretty rare. Today, I have huge news. APOC, APOC is Rising 2 is now going to be free to play. Open Alpha is beginning. This is actually insane. This is. I don't know. It's coming out on July 1st. They're having VIP servers, PvP arenas, and custom matches for default VIP servers. New update stuff you know you can look at that in the discord or tons of other people 15 new random events oh that is cool wait open alpha alpha tester badge okay. um let me just read this for y'all for the past year the apocalypse rising 2 development team has been working hard hard on an incredible new map for the game i will refer to this map as the future map from now on originally our plan was to release apocalypse rising 2 for free when the future map was completed we also wanted to include our proposed mission systems and basic base building with the free release however we are still a few months away from delivering the future map let alone those large systems but instead of pushing our plans back again, we've decided that it would be better if everyone could play Apoxys Rising 2 now and participate in the community as we continue improving the game into the future. Exactly 10 years after the initial release of the original Apocalypse Rising on July 1st, 2022, Apocalypse Rising 2 will be free to, for all players on PC. The game will transition into an open alpha and will no longer cost Robux to play. Uh, what to expect for the free release? VIP free servers? Uh, Custom matches and PvP arenas will be default VIP server experience. This mode, previously known as Tourney Hub, will allow teams of players to face off in a deathmatch with any loadouts of weapons slash equipment on multiple maps based on in-game locations. We already know that. New curated match for custom matches available. Ooh. Two oil rigs connected to- Oh, that is cool. Were any cosmetics and VIP servers unlocked in the main game? This update itself will include a wide variety of new content and improvements. A handful of small islands, structures, and locations from the future map will be present on the new map. The completed future map is still a few months away, but that won't stop us from releasing the new game. 20 new firearm variants and weapons have been added, many of them being special. These are like from the Discord and stuff. Uh, dozens of new findable slash unlockable cosmetics have been added, as well as color variants of many existing cosmetics. The character creator UI has been approved. Yeah, we saw that in the thing today. And the player character will be standing over this in the center of a 3D scene. Similar. Okay, so the original pocket present creator. That's cool. 15 random events. Uh, we've read this. Okay. What to expect? Uh, with VIP servers and primate matches being available, we plan to add more curated maps for player to fight zone. While some of these maps will be resemble existing locations in game, we also want to experiment and try new things. This is just the beginning for custom VIP server experiences. We've been working to transition to the Roblox streaming service, which has significantly improved performance for the client and the server. If you have trouble running APOC 2, this should help a lot. You can expect, expect this to be one of our first priorities after the free release. The future map is expected to be completed within a few months after a free release. It will be about the same size as the current map, except with more attention to detail and less water between locations. Okay. <coughs> we plan <coughs> we plan to expand our vehicle, firearm, and melee weapon systems and be more versatile. Specifically, we need to add vehicle upgrades. We need to better support certain firearm animations and melee weapons so you can have more interest. Okay. Working on our missions and base building system will be a long-term priority. So we can't wait to show you what we have in mind later on down the road, but we have some things to finish first. Besides all that, we also start to having planned gameplay events around holidays and other celebrations. For example, we had an awesome Christmas event last year that we hope to repeat among other ideas. Thank you to all the alpha testers of the community for being so patient with us over these few years. Nothing went according to plan. I'm sorry it took this long to get here. This game isn't as complete as we hoped it would be, but we can't, couldn't let stand another summer go by without giving out everyone the opportunity to play. We're very excited for what the future holds and we can't wait to keep improving. Okay, well that's actually huge. Just to recap, uh, new VIP servers coming out, kind of like the Tourney Hub with a little bit more features. Uh, they're updating the map. You can look on some stuff today. They uh, did that. Uh, wow, that is huge. Wow. Well, that's gonna be it for me. Or oh, it's been. 
cool seeing you guys. I'm gonna try and make as much content as Apoc 2 now as possible. Just because I wanna blow up. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Hopefully this makes the game fresh again. It's gonna be a lot more noobs, worse players that hopefully makes it easier to stomp. But uh yeah, um, it's been your boy Matthias. Expect a lot more Apoc videos coming and I'm out. Peace.